Forecasters are now tracking Tropical Storm Isaac and evaluating what impact it may have on these islands by weekend. With maximum sustained winds of near 40 miles per hour, Tropical Storm Isaac is expected to strengthen as it churns about 500 miles east of Guadeloupe tonight. That's still quite a ways off from the Bahamas, but models indicate that Isaac should pass south of the southeast Bahamas and others show possible, a possible turn toward the northwest by Saturday. Joining us live tonight is Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean uh, with a look at all of the possibilities. Good evening to you, Basil. Good evening, Keisha. You have given all the uh, backdrop to this song, which form about 5 o'clock this afternoon in the far eastern Atlantic, just about 500 miles east of Guadeloupe. As you can see on the screen there, it is moving at a very good clip towards the uh, west at about 17 miles per hour. As you can see, the uh, 5 o'clock uh, positioning, 15.4 degrees north, 53.9 west, and those coordinates puts it 500 miles east of Guadeloupe. Maximum sustained winds have bumped up to 40 miles per hour, and further intensification of this system is expected expected over the next uh, couple of days. So we'll have to keep our eyes on it very closely. The reason being the steering current is taking it in a westerly direction and most of the models putting it uh, pretty much over uh, Hispaniola and eventually over Cuba. Should that happen, it could have a weakening effect on the storm system. Should it remain south of the Greater Antilles over the warm waters of the Caribbean Sea, there could be further intensification but further away from the Bahamas. So that will lessen the threat to us. However, we do have this large high pressure system in the Atlantic and models are also suggesting that this high might retreat towards the east. Should that happen, it will open a window right over the Bahamas for your curvature towards the northwest. That we certainly would not want to see, but that is what we will be looking at over the next couple of days to see whether or not that recurvature towards the northwest takes place. Should it does so, it will increase the threat to the Bahamas and we will keep you apprised.